Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales from This Side. I'm Grey Wolf, and we're going to go ahead and look at what we've got going on today. So as you can see behind me, I've gotten a lot more done off camera. We've got some of these new trees that come from moss. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. We've got a little forest over here. I had to travel for it. Now as you can see, we got villagers that are like the Fletcher, easy to trade with. Um, and we added these bushes, which are the leaves of the new sets of trees, which I really like them. They're, they add a nice touch, and they don't change color in the desert, so it's really nice. As you can see, we're starting a little storage center. This is just a temporary base, and all of this moss came from two blocks purchased from the Wandering Trader, which was really nice. So, in this episode... We're just going to kind of go through a, a little checklist here, and as you can see, I've decorated the rest of the town. I added some trees here and there. Um, we cleaned up the stairways and the different things that were needed um, so that, you know, the villagers could travel back and forth. And, oh, <laughs> he's just hanging out. Oh, okay, he had, a, he had something in his hand, that's why he didn't despawn. But what we're looking for is just different things. We want to make sure that we're sleeping. We're going to do a bit of mining. Um, and I do apologize. My very first death in this series was not recording. I thought it was. And it wasn't. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just a thing now. So as you can see down here, we've cleaned it up a little bit. We haven't really done a whole lot to it. Let's go ahead and lay down and sleep for a minute. And we're back. Alright, so as you can see, I spam the bed so that we could just lay down and get started. We started building a wall here. Um, it's a pretty flat wall, but it's okay. We put the slated walls up on top, which I thought were really cool looking. And I think I'm going to do a little bit more with the slate. In this episode, I think what we'll start to do is... I think overall, what we're going to do is we're going to probably start on just continuing... Well, I guess continuing just on the stream here. Oh, and we got our cocoa beans going. Just get a couple of them because I like them for aesthetics. I don't really use the brown. Um, but as you can see here, we have the we have the different trees. I put it on the back. I thought that would be really cool because there was already a dirt block there, so I just put it there. And on this path here, you can see that we put some of it in. I really like adding in the granite here. I think it adds a nice aesthetic cleared out a good portion of this stuff and created a really nice path walking over to the temple over here which I plan on redoing in black slate. I do have a plan. I'm kind of going off of a, a picture that I saw online. I'm using Google. You can see we got glow ink and colors. Now I was digging right here trying to get down. You can see the, the path there on the side and I was I was trying to get down and as you can see here the entire floor did not actually spawn into the world, so I fell through the bottom, um, which led to a pretty decent size, like I landed all the way down here, it led to a pretty decent size hole, so I lit it up and I decided that we we're going to use this temple as a mine. So I made multiple different layers, so we are just dig down and we'll keep going down like this. I really like the idea that I can mine on different levels to get different types of materials um, and when we dug in here we we came into the cave through this specific episode we're gonna start to do the start to do the outside of the temple however I really don't think we're going to it's gonna take a lot of slate and slate actually is for some reason harder to mine up so as you can see I was down here and we got a bed and we got a little bit of everything else so we're gonna just go ahead and mine up a little bit of this and I'll come back to you guys once I'm uh, once I get it completed alright and we're back now there was a mistake made and as you can see my inventory is completely empty so I did go into the nether and <laughs> I might have dug underneath our our entire village here so we've got some diamonds we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
prep ourselves with some gear, but first we're going to lay down. Next day, so I've got to obviously recraft a lot of the materials and armor, weapons, tools that I was using. Uh, and <laughs> so what was happening was I was in the nether and we spawn in a basalt biome. Most people hate basalt biomes. I really like them because then I have easy access to the blackstone in there. And we didn't die in the basalt biome. We actually were out over a nether waste area. And that's that happens to be where we died. Now, of course, I have no tools, so we got to restart from, you know, a little bit. So I'm going to just take this tree down real quick. And then uh, we're going to get back together with everything else. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm still amazed at, at how I died. So... The part that kind of boggled me was how I died, because I was fully kitted in on the ground, and I caught fire, and then got hit by a gas, and then caught fire again almost instantaneously, so it hit me into a fire, and that's how I died. Yep, I wish I kind of had it on there. So, that that's a thing. <laughs> but... <laughs> But we're going to go ahead and finish up uh, getting our gear, getting everything kind of situated here, and then we'll get started on the other stuff. I came back at about this point so that I could show you some of the work that's been done on the temple because that whole clip that I didn't get with me dying had me upgrading the temple as well. So you're going to be able to see it up here on the on the left hand side. I've upgraded quite a bit. And now we don't really have to worry about what direction... Ooh, let's see if I can sneak up on them. Bet you I can get a couple of them at least with this sword. One. And two. 
got you. They didn't really give me anything worth having. Uh, so as you can see, I have added a lot of the deep slate to the top of it. It's not completed. Once it's completed, I'll actually show you all of it. But unfortunately, we just don't have any of the build stuff for it because I wasn't recording. And that was all in the same session. I'm quite sad about this, actually. However, we don't. We can do some more mining, and a big part of that working out for us is that we've already accidentally killed all of the villagers, and that's the thing. So we have to go back into the Nether now and find another fortress here sooner than later. I think what we're gonna do is I'll probably incorporate that into this episode. We'll just go out and take a look into the Nether. So. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to go and see if I can get some more of that deep slate. Uh, I have a brand new diamond pickaxe. I think it'll be the best way to do it this way. So let's see if we can get some more goodies. I'm going to clean out my inventory for the most part. Anything that we don't really need. I'm going to keep the food on me just in case, but um, I'm okay. We're going to take out a little bit of iron that we got left. And now we're going to run, uh, yeah, this way, because the numbers are going down. And that's the opposite direction of the village. Well done. We want some redstone, because someone died with his redstone on him. So we're going to take this, so we can do some automated stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who that was, but that guy was definitely not paying attention when he got his butt kicked. So all of this, uh, this deep slate, I'm going to knock it out. And I'm going to, I'm going to take a bunch of it. And I'll be back right after I get that finished up. Alright. Alright, so this one's post-production. However, I did want to show you that we found a geode. So as you can see, we've got all of the different different materials just outside of the geode. And we can hear the beautiful sound that the geode makes. At the same time, I also know that uh, there's a skeleton around here. And I know that geodes are hollow. So I saw him. He saw me. There he is. Even when they hit it, it still sounds amazing. So I want some of these blocks. We're gonna take some of the geodes. That scared me a little bit. So we're gonna take some of the some of the uh, actual growth off the geodes, and we're gonna make ourselves uh, one of those fancy new tools that looks like a spyglass. I think they actually call it a spyglass. Um, but we're gonna take one of those one of those tools. We're gonna, I want one of those tools, and I and I maybe about a stack or more. So made out of these, it's absolutely wonderful. It just fell down. There we go. Now we have shards. So for those of you that know, you can see that these are all clear, but the ones with the shards have X's on them. If you move them, they will break. You cannot actually take them off. You can't take them anywhere. The small ones only come out with fortune for some reason. I don't know how that works. I've seen Java players do it. So what we're doing is we're going to clear out some of these other ones so that we can have the blocks. I really like the sound and I think they're very beautiful so we'll add them, I don't know, maybe we'll add them to our temple because we came down for more temple materials and as you can see they just sound so so awesome. And we can also make tented glass out of the shards and I think that's really where I want to go. So these blocks that have the shards growing out of them if we open them up, it'll they'll actually grow on all six sides. So I'm trying to open them up a little bit while still collecting the materials that I want to grab. And my inventory is pretty full, so here real soon we're going to want to take out something to replace some of these blocks with. Because these are far more rare than a lot of the blocks that I'm running into. These are... These are good on server series because you can hear people walking around on them. That's the only time they make noise is when uh, people walk around on them. It's kind of nice. With that being said, I don't. I'm pretty sure only time mobs make noise on them is when mobs are like falling on them because they don't seem to be heavy enough. I could be wrong. Oh no, I thought that was big enough. It wasn't. I could be absolutely wrong, but. I'm pretty sure, even with the skeleton right there, we didn't hear the skeleton. So we don't want to tear down everything in here. We just want to light it up so that we don't get any more mobs. 
and let's go ahead and take off all right so I'll see you back at the top we are back at the top and I wanted to kind of show you what I was thinking with those amethyst crystals so we can turn wait a minute anyway so we're gonna go back and we're gonna take a look because I want to show you if we add these amethyst crystals this is kind of what I was thinking we'll remove the terracotta eventually but we'll kind of add them in here now it's kind of hard because how close this was this was actually half buried in the sand so I'll show you on this side over here so if we put them in with the black it looks really clean and I, and I really like it we'll definitely be changing out the terracotta I'm going to leave the two uh, cut the two chiseled sandstone because I really like the creeper face and there isn't much else that like represents the desert temple out he like in the desert biome or in the game so I think it's the best bet now because our villagers are gone they're all dead it doesn't really matter if we sleep other than for personal safety and then I think after this we're just gonna get ourselves ready to jump into the nether All right, so it's the next day. I think what we're gonna do is get ourselves prepped for the nether. We're gonna have to put some stuff away, make sure that we load everything up. I want all of this cobbled slate to, or cobbled deep slate to be put appropriately away so that way I know what's going on and I'm able to use it later on when we go to finish upgrading the temple. I do not like leaving too many things half, un, half unfinished, so we will definitely be coming back. Some of the things I get kind of scatterbrained about, so I might finish half of it, go get distracted like we're going to right about now, and then come back and finish the rest. Which, you guys may not actually see that, and that's okay. So, I think we've got pretty much everything we're going to need for this. We're just, we're just hopping in, we're going to be looking for something really quickly. I need to get some food, and that only gives me one potato, go figure. I know there's, I put potatoes over here for my personal patch, so hopefully those are fully grown. Yeah, that's, they're not, they're not. Anyway, we're going to just pop in, we're going to take a look around, I've already been in here, and I, I know that the warp force is in here along with the basalt biome. Hopefully we can get in and out. Okay, so let's look around, see what we can see. So over there should be the basalt, or the the warped forest, and then up here, what's up here? I, I didn't go, oh, I said, <laughs> oh, I think I see it. Yep, there it is. So it is right next to our portal, and that's absolutely gorgeous. I kind of wish I'd have seen that before I died. Just saying. Um, yeah. So anyway. Let's uh, let's go figure out what we're going to do. We need to definitely get some bridging materials. Over here is that warp forest I was pointing out. I actually went through the warp forest and ended up dying. There, We're pretty close to multiple biomes right where we're at here. And... It... Yeah. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and deal with these guys and then I'll be right back. So we're back, and I didn't really deal with those guys. They they kind of beat me up quite a bit once they become the little ones. They're one punchers, but at the same time, uh, I I didn't have any food, so we're gonna eat uh, these garbage beets that only give a half a 
half a hand hawk. But it should fill us up, and that should get us regenerating. So that's really what we're looking for here. We... I, I really want to go back in there. We're going to explore that, but we're going to do that probably closer to the next time. So we'll get prepped up, and then on the next episode, we'll just go ahead and take it on. I know that we're kind of cutting it a bit short today, but I want to finish up... I guess we could clear it out, and then once we get there, we'll, we'll call that a cliffhanger. So we'll go in, give you a little extra time here, and then what we'll do is we'll speed this up. All of those magma cubes just literally jumped through the portal. Awesome. Well, they're all in there now, including that one. Alright, so anyway, I'm going to give you another time lapse here real quick. And we will finish getting our area pretty set up and we will bridge out there. That way it'll give you a little bit extra time here with a, another song. guys for coming i hope you enjoyed the video please remember to like and subscribe and as usual love me hate me let me know in the comments and we'll see you again on our next episode hope everything goes well till then be safe